think it's time to put an end to the sideline interview. What did no, you are think? Are you blocking me? Uh, are you blocking me? No, sir. What did you, right. right. you think of the performance of your quarterback, Andy? Alex Smith. Um, I thought he did a great job. Yeah. They played very well. Um, keep walking, Brian. Keep walking. This guy's not that important. I'm tired right of not getting anything out of this, and it, quite frankly, pisses everybody off. And if that's the case, well, there are a lot better ways Good to evening, piss Sarah. people off. Fisticuffs in a Manhattan high school have forced community leaders to re-examine their policy. Is it really necessary to get their thoughts right after the very last second in the game and before they even get a chance to go shake the other team's hand? All you end up with is a few garbled words that are meaningless. So more to the point, if it's not adding to the program or fan interaction, why are they or we or anyone else even doing it? We are at the point in time that we get the media to understand that this comes down to contracts and money, in which we are all painfully reminded every time we get our cable bill. But it all comes back to the same point every time. There's nothing on TV. And by continuing down this road, it only frustrates everyone involved. The FCC and the government continues to tell the networks that you're not big enough to hear bad words or nudity. The FCC only regulates broadcast TV and radio, stuff that you pick up with an antenna. They don't regulate magazines, newspapers, the internet, not cable or pay TV like Showtime. At least not yet. The cable networks are still too scared of any small organization that they possibly might offend in the PC world. What happened to that time where you could turn on the TV and see people being normal? Where somebody could have a drink, smoke a cigar, even sit next to a hot Hello girl there. with a great rack. Glad you could join us this evening. I'm Hugh Hefner, editor publisher of Playboy magazine, and your host. And this is Playboy's Penthouse. They even got that right in the 1950s. And that was an interview you actually wanted to see. But um, I, I wanted to be big. Um, when I decided I, in the States that I wanted to be a feature dancer. Um, That's I like an exotic to... dancer, we call that here. Is that right? Well, kind of... um, a feature dancer is, in layman's terms, a uh, professional exotic yeah. dancer. May just be neurotic or possibly psychotic. They're the fellas.